Hi guys, this is my uh, GU39B vacuum tube tester coil. And uh, for any of you guys that haven't seen videos on this, they are on my channel. But uh, today I just wanted to take a closer look at this uh, tube. This is the heart of the uh, vacuum tube tester coil. It's the actual vacuum tube itself. And uh, it is quite a beast. Now I do have a spare and it's out on the bench so I can take a closer look at that one. This is the actual tube. And for any of you guys who haven't actually seen anything like this, these are really big. I mean, this is eight kilograms. And uh, its specs are quite impressive too. The filament in this thing takes 100 amps at six volts. So it's got a 600 watt filament. And uh, to start that from cold, it takes 150 amps. The anode voltage of this tube is 10 kilovolts. And uh, it, as I say, it can handle 10 kilowatts of power. I think it can even leave them more to be fair, I think uh, 13 I think I saw on the data sheet. But um, like I say, uh, it can handle some phenomenal power. And uh, the G2 and G1 grids can handle 400 and, no I think it's 450 sorry, and 200 watts respectively. Uh, when you first get these things it can be quite hard to figure out which pins do what. Because the two pins here and here are connected to G1. And these two are the actual filament. Now, because it takes 150 amps to start the filament, and these two are obviously connected as well, then you're going to end up looking at a low ohm reading across either set of pins. And it can be quite hard to figure out. It took me a while to figure out which uh, with a heater. Um, like I say, it's it's quite a beast, and uh, to see it in real life, it's it is impressive. So I just thought I'd uh, make a little video about this and uh, give a little bit more insight into the actual size of these things. So uh, thanks for watching guys, take care, more coming soon.